Yeah, and thank you for that. And your style of leadership has really been a model. Uh, and I think the way we've worked together, who would think a Democrat from the Bronx and a Republican from the heart of Texas could work so well together, right? And uh, But it's a model for the rest of the Congress, and your legacy, sir, will um, continue. Uh, you have have quite a legacy with this committee, and uh, you will always be remembered. And I look forward to when we get back to some normalcy to having your portrait <laughs> up in this uh, beautiful uh, committee room. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, and we've worked uh, a lot uh, to advocate on behalf of the Syrian people, which is the subject matter of this hearing. And <clears throat> you and I saw those photographs um, that was taken by Caesar. Uh, they were horrific. They were uh, reminiscent of the Holocaust, uh, but that is the reality on the ground in Syria, and I want to thank the witness for being here, Mr. Rayburn. I know that you just came back from Syria, so I really look forward to your testimony, and I have some very uh, uh, good questions, I think, for you. Uh, but, Mr. Chairman, we've worked together to, on Syria to pass legislation sanctioning Turkey's invasion of Syria, to draw attention to the assault on civilians in Idlib, to support access for humanitarian assistance, and to oppose countries renewing ties with the Assad regime. And as author of the Caesar Act, Mr. Chairman, you worked for years to pass sweeping sanctions to cut off resources to the Assad regime and its backers. Um, now we're already seeing how these sanctions are crippling Assad's reign of terror. And we work together on the Syrian policy, again, not as Republicans or Democrats, but as Americans and as human beings trying to protect innocent civilians. Um, but there's still more to be done. For starters, we should stand by our allies in Northeast Syria to give them more opportunities to succeed. In addition, I recently spoke with key people on the ground um, in Syria who provided me with important updates. Uh, they've all said that we need more support and we need it now. And we want to find the best manner to do that and I hope we can get them the relief they need as soon as possible. I'd also like to once again encourage members of the international community to refrain from diplomatic engagement with Assad. The world cannot accept a butcher like Assad as the leader of Syria. There can be no justice if relations with Syria return to business as usual. So I want to welcome our guests here today. We're pleased to have you. Um, I'm especially hoping you will address how the administration has used the sanctions and other tools to secure justice for the Syrian people and further cripple Assad and his Russian and Iranian backers. Our goal should be to force the regime and its sponsors to stop the slaughter of innocent people and to provide the Syrian people a path towards reconciliation, stability, and freedom. Uh, Chairman Engel, your tireless work to fight the Syri for the Syrian people is at the core of your legacy, as I mentioned before. So I wanna thank you for everything you've done on behalf of the Syrian people and for making their struggle for freedom remain at the top of your agenda in this Congress. I think it's fitting that this is the last hearing that we have in this Congress on this such a, a important issue and such a humanitarian crisis. Uh, and with that, uh, I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Uh, I thank my friend, Mr.